Hello, welcome, Travis fans, to Matt Strikes Back, No More Heroes. This is, of course, the new No More Heroes uh, spin-off game. It is not No More Heroes 3, like uh, Suda51 has said. Now, this is the intro that was shown, you know, about a year ago now, I think. Um, but let's hear it with the new VA of Steve Bloom and Travis Atkins Downs. I mean, Robin Atkins Downs. <laughs> you want to play? Let's play. Bring it, nerd. Pay your debt in blood. Hold up. <laughs> Been away a long time. Ah, oh, this is so no more heroes. Gamers out there. Let me at least introduce myself. Travis Touchdown. You murdered my daughter. Don't pretend you forgot. <laughs> now quit making this shit confusing. The game is being developed using Unreal Engine 3, the noble and pedigree middleware from Epic Games. Your fight is here in the real world, son of a bitch! Nice. Nice work, dickhead. <laughs> oh, that's such a money shot! What the shit? The Death Drive Mark II. The Phantom Game Console. So this is where it's been hiding. Thank you, Lee, for the amazing intro. Uh, since we modeled it off, off that pretty much exactly. Uh, so good thing we have a, a second to catch our breath there. So, um... Uh, for those that don't know, uh, that's Badman, the uh, father of Bad Girl, which is great, uh, from No More Heroes 1, which which we killed in pretty gruesome and definitive fashion. And over there, we have Jean, uh, right under the options menu. She's fat again. Oh, I I don't know if we can uh, if we can uh, slim her down a little bit, but I guess we'll see. So um, I, I've been looking forward to this game for a while. Um, I know some people are really not into it. Oh, what's this? Okay, the intro just starts again. I thought I was going to go to, like, an actual demo. Um, you know, I, some people are not really into this game that much just because it's not No More Heroes 3, but it's not supposed to. So I, I'm fine with that. It's it's definitely a lower-budget spinoff. And unfortunately, it's one of those things where uh, Suda51 and Grasshopper in general have said if this, if this game does well, then there's more reason to launch right into No More Heroes 3, uh, which would be really cool. I would really want that, so... You know, I, I bought the season pass for this as well since they announced Shinobu and Bad Girl for some reason is back. But whatever, it's fucking No More Heroes. Uh, so the other thing about this is that I might edit around this LP just a little bit. I, I have read two reviews of this before playing it, one that was really positive and one that was like around the like the six or seven range. And it did say it gets a little repetitive, gets a little monotonous. So, so we'll see how it goes. I, I don't want to edit it if I uh, don't have to. Um, but if things get a little dry or a little weird, you know, maybe we'll just zip forward the combat a little bit. So our narrative device here is that Travis and Batman get sucked into the uh, Death Drive Mark II and uh, have to go through different game worlds to try to get out. Um, that's all I kind of know of the general setup, but... Oh, ho, 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 ho. Fucking love this. This is what I modeled. These types of intros is what I modeled the flop house after. Death Drive. I would buy the Death Drive Mark II if I could. So here is our first game, Electric Thunder Tiger 2. Uh, this may at least be the start of what I played at PAX East. I did play Travis uh, Strikes again uh, at PAX East. Just the limited demo, uh, which was pretty fun. I liked it then, so... Well, we'll see how this goes. Fingers crossed. Yeah, I could have used a Channel 51 right here off the bat, but whatever. It's loading the game or a cartridge being loaded in like the uh, mini games from No More Heroes 2. 
Oof, we gotta kill fucking Sarah Connor if we can find her. Travis's face looks a little different, I find, in this, from what I've seen. Ooh. Oh. Distracto. That's a fire. Um, yeah, I kind of like the movement of this. Travis is very fast. I don't think you can run any faster. Okay, that's, uh, that's to charge up sword. I think we're good. Heavy strike. Big jump! I even remember the jump being that large and a roll. And shoulders probably do special moves or something. But, uh, anything over here? No? Alright, let's do it. Hey, can I ask you something? Is this the game world? Hey, wait, you can't just walk on in here. This area is off limits. This entire area is sealed off. The government has issued an evacuation order. Whatever, man. If this is a game, I'm gonna clear it for sure. You can't stop me. Stay out of my way. You just don't get it. Do you have a permit? What the hell are you talking about? Of course I don't. We can take you out by force, you know. Oh, that sounds fun. Bring it on, then. That's my best, Travis. Don't underestimate video games. They have the ability to inspire or disappoint you. Transform! Oh, it's not working. Insufficient funds, not enough DD coins. Well, people being broke is a hallmark of the No More Heroes franchise. What a shame, Travis. I was going to kill you in the tutorial, but it looks like I still need more karma. The journey is not yet over. The time to destroy the world is yet to come. Look, this is taking forever. This is what sucks about games these days. It takes too long to finally start playing. Anyway, get your hands on a permit before we meet again. We'll overlook it for now. Just clear the usual mission-style events. Okay. That's still a little weird. We don't know where Bad Man is. This game has a full co-op mode. I think... Yeah, you just, like, do this and another player can jump in real easily. Um, you know, I might do an extra video. I don't know. Maybe if Liam wants to play. Uh, he's shown a lot of interest in this game. We'll see. Can't talk to these guys for whatever reason. It really helps that Robin Atkins Downs finally got his voice in here. It was kind of uh, iffy for a while. I, I guess this is me just getting the No More Heroes coins. I'm happy with that. Bug Street Boys. Red. That's fun. These are actual representations of bugs. That's why all the Z fighting. Who the hell is that? They're awesome. Welcome to the Death Drive Mark II. I'm the creator of this machine, Dr. Juvenile. Yo, this girl is awesome looking. The Death Drive is connected to your nervous system via the Death Glove. I love it. It's so bad. Keep concentrating or else you're gonna die. The controls are intuitive, so you'll get used to them. We'll start by going over the basic controls. Let's take out some enemies. Basic attack. Uh, yeah, and hold. Can you hold it? Nice, you can just hold the button. I didn't know that. You can also do basic attack while running. Rush attack. Okay. That, that was simple enough. So you know what that reminds me of off the bat? That reminds me of how the basic uh, slashing controls in No More Heroes 1 weren't all <laughs> Boog Bug Sputnik. Uh, it reminds me of the basic slashing controls weren't waggle. It was just the finishers that were waggle, which was always a smart choice. Uh, so being able to hold the button down here is actually pretty smart. Next is the heavy attack. Useful against tougher enemies, enemies who guard. That's a heavy attack. Quite heavy. Quite Yokozuna. I like the feedback of hitting. Uh, that's that's definitely really prevalent. Weapon is almost out of power. Okay. Weapon may only get more power. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Alright, so that's just... That was one shake of the pro controller. That's what I'm playing with. Uh, for those that are curious. Jump in. There's rubble in the way. Can't go further. Just jump. Jump. Jump up in the air. I'll be your one up, Travis. Okay, is, is combat happening now, though? Yeah, probably. Basic jump. Okay. Can I jump attack? Yes, I can. That's almost a dive kick. Stop, stop. This is Dr. Juvenile. You play the way I tell you. Okay, I was doing too much. Oh. Because I did the heavy attack just to see what would happen. She didn't like that. Is that it? Okay, that's it. 
Okay, there's jump heavy. Fine, fine. Now I can finally see it. Kind of cut it off. Oh, okay. It's a big area of effect. Nice. Mm -mm. Dodge. Learn to dodge. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Dodge. Okay. I thought we were going to actually have an attack I had to dodge, but that's alright. Um, see, I have seen a lot of people say, like, I'm really not into this top-down thing. And I'm like, yeah, if No More Heroes 3 was, like, a top-down, like, action game like this, like, Ruiner or, you know, any any game like that, I, I would be kind of like, eh, I'm not really a fan of that. But again, like, they have said multiple times, this is not No More Heroes 3, it's not the continuation of the saga. This takes place years later and stuff. So Charge Attack looks like your weapon is fully powered up. Charge Attack is simple but powerful move. The charge gauge builds up as you attack enemies, so use it once it's full. When you use a charge attack, your charge level will go up. The higher the charge level, the stronger the charge attack. However, a charge level will decrease if you take heavy damage. Be careful when fighting. Try not to take damage. You can use the Choco, Banana Crepe, and Caramel Ice Cream attack in two-player co-op play. Uh, hold down the charge button once your power is built up. Once it's full, you can unleash a super strong beam. It feels good. <laughs> Try it out up ahead. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that felt pretty good. It felt a little weird. I had to hold the button down. And then I pressed the button again. But why did it have a shake prompt? I'm not really sure. Whatever. Oh, uh, a little more guys. More bugs. I hope there's literal actual bugs we have to fight in this game. Not just like the representations of one. Now, that's the weird thing with Suda. I have no idea. Uh, I, he'll probably totally you know, show some stuff I never thought of before, and the really basic bitch things that I think of, he's like, yeah, that, no, I'm not gonna do that. That's lame. And I'm like, yeah, you know, you're, you're probably right. What, what was I thinking? This track's not, it, is, is the music getting a little, uh, more inventive when I actually fight? Because it seems, I felt like, uh, oh, bathroom. Dr. New now, so you haven't died yet. As you can see, there's a toilet. Not just on a toilet. Save toilet! A save hopper. You don't know when you're gonna die, so be sure to save. For your first save at each toilet, you'll get some money as a special gift. Oh, that's nice. Toilet gifts. I love that shit. <gasps> it's a Tron toilet. Oh, shit! So yeah, getting that unreal in there. Probably gonna be the only time I'm gonna see my t-shirts, because I know there's a lot of t-shirts in here for a lot of games. I was hoping the takeover would be part of it, because some games that are loosely involved with the publisher I found for the takeover is kind of loosely involved in this game. I'm not 100% sure, but unfortunately it's not. White Sheep Man says, okay, Travis Touchdown, welcome to the world of Electric Thunder Tiger 2. You can call me White Sheep Man. I'm the memory manager here. You found the death ball and booted up the death drive mark too. The journey is long, but short. The survivors are desperate. As returning from the main character to the ruler of this world, Triple Star lost his reason to exist. Yeah, I think Triple Star is the the actual full boss of this of this particular game. You should know more than anyone that the chains of freedom are the most painful of all. Sure. That's enough talk for now. We'll meet again. Okay. That, that, that's sure a suit of thing. Whoa. That's pretty cool, I think. Yeah, yeah, get the fuck out of me. Out of my way! Very Travis thing to say. Okay. Yeah, so that was only three little shakes, so that feels a lot more, um, not horrible as, as it did kind of, kind of sometimes feel in the, uh, the, the first two games. I don't even have all the special moves. I remember you had like four special moves, like that giant tiger slash, time bombs and shit. What is this? Skills! You just got a skill chip. Uh, when you get a new skill chip, you unlock a new skill to use. Even a monkey like you can master them. Oh, we'll see about that. So use them as much as possible. You'll end up collecting lots of different skills. You can manage to arrange them from the skill set menu and the level up skills menu and the pause menu. I've already set this one for you. Test it out. Show me what you got. So L and uh, Soderbug. 
I'm glad that voice is in there. That was just a force push. Okay, I guess, uh, yeah. That has a cooldown on the, the right, the left side of the screen, rather. Alright, dispatched. Coins, once you get a skill, you won't be able to use it again straight away. It's called, it's called the Henry Cooldown Timer. Um, but after some time, you'll be able to use it again, so be smart about it. <laughs> again, you're putting way too much faith in me. That may be hard with your brains, there you go. But try to do your best. Dr. Juvenile. Throwing a lot of juvenile insults my way, but, you know, what can I expect? God. That noise is ingrained in my brain. It's why I used it as a Twitch notification for so long. So let's try that again. Fuck, he got wrecked. Because, like, so far, you know, for these types of games, and I've these top-down sort of action titles, some of, like, the feedback of hitting enemies is, like, a little off, and some of them are really good, like, Ruiner is a good example of a game feeling good, but I played some where I'm like, eh, I'm not, I'm not feeling that too much, and this does feel pretty good. I mean, do, do, again, I wish it was No More Heroes, like, standard third-person combat, I do, but, uh, I've kind of made peace with that in general. Okay, that, that really affects one guy, so that's good for, like, you know, a mini-boss or something. Ooh! <sighs> Could barely get out of there in time. Oh, okay, that's good for groups. Oh, shit. Oh, good dodge, good dodge. There you go. Yes! Nice. That, th that was pretty awesome. I guess that was like a finisher. I'm not sure. Anything around here? Matt likes collecting secrets. No, Sue su to put no secrets. Unless this is like an illusionary wall. It's not. And I just like wasted some sword power there. Uh, I'm sure that'll last longer. I'm sure that's something can, we can level up. Let's actually check. What do you actually level up? Trigger skill. Shining Chip, and that's for bad man, so, you know, not much to do right then. And 256 of 500, so can't really do much there. What else is here? Character select. I could just switch to bad man if I want. I'm not sure. Why does it say Jean is at the trailer? Like, that's where she was, but, I, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll come across that later. Whatever Suda, like, wants to do. Yeah, might as well talk about that because a lot of people are like, oh yeah, you know, uh, Shadows of the Damned, that was okay, it was an okay game, not Suda's best game he directed. Like, Suda hasn't directed a game since No More Heroes 1. This is the first one he's done in a long time. You scored some provisions, some hazard. Box like this are full of various supplies and cash. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, he hasn't, he didn't direct Lollipop Chainsaw, didn't direct Shadows of the Damned, didn't direct uh, Killer is Dead. This is his first directorial effort since No More Heroes 1. And he co-directed No More Heroes 2, but it wasn't like all him, so... Um, you know, that that's really interesting to me because... You know, I, the, the mixed reception I've seen on this game has been stuff where I'm like, yeah, that doesn't seem like a deal breaker for me. You know, I, I play, like, lots of repetitive games, like beat-em-ups, for example, but we'll just see how this goes. I am, I am Dr. Juven, 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 Juven. Oh, this is the, no more, this is the, uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 homage, is it? All right, that was concerning. Anything over here? Yes! That was very Moe, except not really at all. Travis Touchdown, welcome to the world of Electric Thunder Tiger 2. Your status as a hardcore gamer is well known even here. What gives you a hard on? <laughs> but that bet that gives you a hard on, doesn't it? Maybe. That's it. Okay, fine. You're not wrong. Keep yourself hydrated, kids. I got some water going on. It's only like noon today, so it's a little too early. Does Travis drink? He got drunk at that bar in No More Heroes 1, but that's the only references to, like, fucking drinking that I've ever seen. You know what I mean? Type, I assume. Okay, what's the difference? 
I guess we'll see. That's a good attack. Oh shit, okay, th there's the difference. Feels good, feels good. This this forest section reminds me of like the uh, the one from Normal Heroes 2, uh, the Nightmare Forest, a little bit. In fact, like Stark environments, I read one of the review things was like, man, some of these environments are pretty boring. I'm like, yep, just like they were in the first two games. You're very right, reviewers. Like, I get what they mean, like, I wish, but, like, for a top-down thing, like, again, this game has a smallish budget. I don't know that it doesn't absolutely excuse it, but, I mean, it's what I think of when I think of No More Heroes, really. Wait, what was that? Do I just jump over this? No, I heard enemies warp in. Or, okay, no, just, I can't warp back out. So I'm stuck. Let's keep, let's continue on ahead. Yes. Yeah. Like, this is a No More Heroes environment to me. Fuck you! Oh, that feels good. Okay, now I'm, now I'm, I'm, you know, it's probably just me being mad, but I just realized those red uh, sides around the screen indicate when enemies are kind of off screen a little bit. Um, kind of that red hue. So like, yeah, there's one down there, there's one behind me. That's pretty cool, actually. All right, so the last blue guys through projectiles. And assume this is somewhat the same. Yeah, it does take a lot of swipes compared to like a strong strike. It does 55 damage while multiple small strikes do 5 each hit. So that's kind of a thing. Ooh, okay, okay. That can affect more than one guy. These types of games, like I find, kind of live or die based on like their skills or special moves or unique uh, uh, things like that. Because if if those are if I gain those really like at a nice pace, it would help out the combat like immensely. I also notice I have level three for my big special. So if I fight a boss next or uh, a big group of enemies, I'm gonna try to use that. Hopefully, it sticks. I don't know how I feel about Travis's purple jacket. I kind of prefer red, but. That's fine. Uh, you know, let's go. I don't know if that's something you, we can switch in the game. I've only ever seen Travis wear purple um, uh, in trailers and such. I hope you can. I like, as I know, the t-shirts are kind of like those Majora's Mask t-shirts. Okay, when Travis puts up that red, uh, that R uh, sign, that means I have that R button special move. Okay, I'll do it now. Okay, that was good. That was good. Yeah, so some of the sound design is still super good in No More Heroes. Like, it, it just maintains that coolness. So I'm assuming I can buy new skills and stuff uh, eventually with the money. Or I can buy something. Maybe the t-shirts? Uh, Dr. Juvenile here. Looks like you got another skill chip. Be sure to check the skills menus. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, you can check your skills and set them on the four buttons. You can group together the skills you use most and save them as presets. That's cool. Uh, use that broke ass head of yours to find the combination that best suits you. All right, let's do that. Um, shining chip. Skill set. Okay, there we go. Shining chip and psycho chip. Okay. Fires multiple shots from the death glove. Temporarily immobilizes characters hit. So yeah, why don't we put that there? Uh, and see how that goes. I like the sa saving presets. That's very not No More Heroes. That's very not Grasshopper. That's too modern of a convenience almost. I really like all this HUD and stuff. I, I don't don't know quite how to describe it, but there's something about it. Um, I can also level up. So when I do that, okay, <laughs> okay, I wasn't able to quite do it. So I do need that 500 uh, before I can actually level it up fully. I can't even do it halfway. All right, we'll use Psycho Chip next. I'm kind of digging this so far. I know it's a little early, but... Okay, Psycho Chip is not fully activated yet. So each special move has their own cooldowns, which is cool. Uh, but it fires multiple uh, things at once, so let me just wait for it to... There you go. That's, pretty, that's not bad. That's not bad. Speaking of uh, being bad... 
cool. And, and the last enemy you kill always gets a slow motion death thing, which I am a fan of. Alright, anything else uh, around? Nope. I kind of miss the No More Heroes theme. I'm sure it'll come back at some point, but the starting level, I would have liked that, but whatever. All right, just use both special moves right at the start. That That's really good, just the jumping uh, light attack. Uh, I think that's pretty... lets you close the distance really fast. And it doesn't do, like, terrible damage. How much does it actually do? It does 10. It does a little bit more, so that's fine. Okay, yeah, it stuns them too, like it said. Cool, cool. So you can kind of string combos together by doing a few lights and then going, Yes, I don't know what you are, but I love you! In traditional Japanese Yatai style. Pretty good. The ramen stalls from all around Japan throughout each stage. Wait, we're in Japan? Eating the ramen will plant your energy and power you up too. Cool. It'll even pump up a chump like you. Be sure to stop by. Ramen is the soul food of Japan. I traveled all over J Japan just for this. What are you waiting for? Okay, I guess I guess the Skull Man is telling us. I guess Stop Skeletons from Fighting is letting us know that uh, that's he's been all over Japan. So maybe we can maybe that's what some of the money is for buying. I don't want to get too far ahead just in case. Bugjiro, we got a customer. Welcome. Come on in. Give me your best ramen. Sure thing! A little bit of germ warfare there. Here you go! <laughs> it's just like a Terras House episode. Travis will be like, delicious! So yummy! To uh, Tokyo Shoyu. Simple and beautiful. Refreshing soy sauce based soup made with bonito broth. God, I'm fucking hungry. 